Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Hannah here and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have a ASOS haul and I did say in my last haul, my Simply Be haul, if you haven't already watched that, go check it out. It's my last video that I would be doing ASOS haul for you this week. Um, I basically have been coveting quite a few bits off ASOS and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to order my whole wish list and then keep a few bits um, to see like, you know, whichever ones are the nicest ones and keep those. Unfortunately... <laughs> I don't think that I order things in the right sizes because everything's very beautiful, but it's all like misshapen on me. But I'll show you what I mean. I've got some shoes, I've got some dresses, I've got some skirts, um, and I will include a try on. Um, so I ordered this back last week, um, but I think if you just put stuff in your wish list and then when ASOS has like a 20% off, that's when I usually order. So I don't just order like everything for full price. I never buy anything from full, for full price from ASOS because I think they always have 20% off deals. I've also, I'm also sporting a middle parting today so I'm trying to trim this part of my hair because it was originally on this side to stay so if I keep messing with my hair that is why because I'm trying to make my middle stop parting stay as it is. Anyway first item I really 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 wanted these sandals. I've only tried one on because this is what I always do when I am um, oh by the way all of this was paid with was paid for with my own money it's not sent to me I wish it was sent to me. Um, when I as I was saying when I what was I saying? Oh, when I try shoes, um, I only ever try one foot on, um, just to see if I like the way that the shoe looks. And then if I do like the way the shoe looks, I'll put both on. Now, I ordered these. These were £55, I think. I think I got 10 or 20% off. They're real leather um, and they are wide fit, but they are a chunky black sandal. And the reason I bought them is because of these gold studs around them, which I really, really liked. They remind me of the Christian Dior ones that have come out. They are a real leather sandal. I just don't know if they're worth £50 because I feel like in two months' time, Aces are going to put these down to like 28 and then I'm going to really regret regret buying them. I just bought some um, some sandals from River Island and now I'm like, do I really need two pairs of black sandals? So I don't think I'm going to keep these. I got them in a size 6. They fit perfect. They're very, very comfortable. But I think I'm going to wait for them to just be reduced just a little bit because I think £50 from ASOS is a little bit steep for a sandal. So those are going back. My child is asleep as well. I need to listen out for him. Um, and then I ordered these, which I didn't get in a wide fit, I don't think. Are these in a wide fit? No, I should have got them in a wide fit. This is why they don't fit me properly. You see in the try on, these don't actually fit properly. And um, they're a size six and it's a rope sandal. So I don't know if you can see, it goes around the back and then it has a crisscross at the front. My toes don't fit in here. I've got a wide flat foot, so <laughs> I need um, a wider shoe than this. I really like the look of these. They're, um, like I said, they're like a rope material and they have like a goldish color to them. I don't know if you can see, it's like kind of gold, um, but also like a natural nude color as well. They don't fit me, so unfortunately not keeping those. So I'm a bit disappointed. My wish list, like, had so many beautiful things in there. And when I've ordered them, they're just not what I thought they would be. There are some cute bits. And I feel like I didn't order the right size in some of them. So they would be nice if I had a size down or a size up. But keep watching. You'll find out all. I will reveal all. Then I got this, which I got in a size... 22 i got majority of the things in a size 22 this one i think i could have gone down a size definitely uh, the neck is too big even like you know that if something's too big when the neck is too big i've got a message um so it's a police maxi dress and it's got these blue daisies or, or white daisies with like a blue middle but the neck is so super wide like it looks like it's supposed to be like i don't know one shoulder or something the neck is very very wide i got it in a size 22 it has short sleeves it's a plissé material and it is a maxi length dress and i thought this would be really nice with like chunky black sandals and then a belt to like brush it up and give it a little bit of shape but it is too big for me unfortunately so i think this in a size smaller would have been nice um i love the fact that asos now have these tags on them so that if you rip this off you have to keep it because i really didn't like it that potentially somebody could be wearing something out and then sending it back the next day. I knew quite a few girls that would do that, would order dresses, wear them out and then send them back the next day. I just find it disgusting. So I'm glad that they have those on them now just to kind of protect the clothing for whoever it is that wants to buy them. So next, next, next. This was quite cute. I styled it horribly in the video, but I'm only wearing black leggings, that's why. But it's a, a top from Yours Clothing. It's a size UK 22 to 24. I would have got it in a size down but I couldn't get the size 20 and I am a size 22 but 22 to 24 is always a little bit big because yours clothing is like not junior plus size it's like proper plus size you know um 
so it's a square neckline gingham top it does have double lined at the chest which is good because it doesn't mean it means that it's not going to be see-through however the rest of it does seem a little bit see-through so like i can see my black legging through the peplum part of it um it's just got these little gorgeous puff sleeves um and like i said it is a square neck and then it's like a peplum it is very long as well considering that it's a top i thought it was a dress first when i looked at it on the website and i ordered it and then when i've gone back and checked it's actually a top so it is a little bit long so if you are tall i reckon this will be good for you for me it's a little bit long to be a top and also the fact that it's see-through on like the actual peplum bit i'm not happy with that because i don't like being able to see like you know my leggings through it and stuff like that so for that one for me it's like a bit of a no and then as well i've got this one. Oh, have i got no memory i've got no battery i've got no battery great and um, then i've got this one which is a neon rose uh, maxi dress and it's really beautiful again got it in a size too big it is too big for me it's a size 22 and this is the pattern it's absolutely gorgeous short sleeves cotton material i love the back of it it's got like this gorgeous little tie up keyhole the back it's got tears i love the pattern i like the fact that it would be really really airy in the summer so it's warm because it's cotton it's going to keep you cool however it's too big for me and you know even if you were going to style it as a smock it's still too big so for me that one again is a pass i'm hoping this battery lasts because look, i don't have any time to film other than now when he's sleeping so and then i got this again this one is a miss for me and the only reason is because like i said i wear black leggings with everything and I don't see this going with tights and I don't want to wear white leggings with it. It is a bit see-through as well. It's a cotton shade, um, broadery, anglaise dress from Yours Clothing. Got this in a size 22, I think, was it? Yeah, size UK 22. Mm, square neckline, cute. But I think I ordered this for the sake of ordering it. Like, I shouldn't have ordered this dress. That was a mistake on my part. Um, really, really beautiful and would keep you cool. But just, I don't think I would know how to style this. If I had bare legs and I had a strappy white um, sandal on, I think it would be gorgeous. So for those of you that can have your legs out or get your legs out, I think it would be gorgeous for you. But for me, unfortunately, this one is a new. So I really like this one. However, I don't think it looks good on me and I need to size up because it clings to my belly and I don't like that. So it's from River Island. It's a police material again this gorgeous pattern i'm not really into color but this one just caught my eye it's got long sleeves very 70s it's got a twist just under the bust and it is a midaxi length so nice just my shape it just doesn't go with it i mean i think i don't think i'm confident enough to be able to rock like a visible belly outline i know it seems like i'm rushing this i'm so sorry it's because my my camera is flashing it's telling me it's got low battery and by the time i charge it and by the time i refilm i won't have time because no one will be awake so <laughs> my son will be awake so i just i'm i need to speed this up you know so yeah i just don't think that that one um it clings to me too much like i feel like i wouldn't be comfortable in that However, this one is an absolute dream. I need it in a size down, so I'm gonna order it straight away after this video. It's a size UK 22. Again, it's a square neckline. I love the, the shape of this. It has like ruching on the bust. I don't know how to explain it to you. It's a non-stretch material, but it has um, a stretchy waistband at the back. Um, it is a midi length dress, and I think it gives a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shape. I love leopard print anyway. Um, I need it in a smaller size just because of the top so this keeps dropping off my shoulders and I want it to be a bit smaller so that actually it stay on my shoulders but it is gorgeous long sleeved it's very thin but it's not see-through because of the pattern so I think that you could get away with it like you know obviously with it being see-through it'll be see-through because it's got a pattern on it I think it's really really beautiful I'm very very happy with that I will be reordering that as soon as another like 20% or something comes off then something i was really really excited for was these last two items sorry guys my battery died so um as i was saying 
I got this skirt in the biggest size it had. Am I too close? I don't know. I feel like I've changed position. It's fine. Um, I love, love, love this skirt. I love the fact that it has a green background and then all of the gorgeous flowers on it. Um, it has a zipper closure and then it also has like a split at the front and the back, which I really, really like. Um, unfortunately, this one just looked too tight, like on my midriff section. I just didn't like the way that it looks. I'm not comfortable with that sort of thing. So uh, for those of you that would be comfortable, then obviously it would look beautiful on you but unfortunately on me it doesn't look that nice sorry it wasn't splits at the front and back what am i saying it's two splits at the front on either leg basically and this is a midi dress it's from neon rose no it's not it's from nobody's child nobody's child is quite expensive um i was expecting this skirt to have some lining similarly similarly with the dress as well so the floral maxi mid axi smock type of dress um i was expecting that to have some sort of lining or to be a bit of a thicker material because they were so expensive like i think the dress was i want to say like 40 pounds and this skirt was 48 pounds or something and you just think if you're going to be paying 48 pounds like you need to make it so that it's not see-through and that like it's a good quality you know um, and then i ordered this um, skirt and I just had been looking at this skirt for so long and decided to get it um, I got it in a size 24 and it's too big on the waist but you can still see like my belly outline on it and I just don't like it guys I need to be more confident but I'm really not um, so it's this gorgeous bias cut midi skirt and it is in this beautiful satin like aqua color i don't know turquoise that's it turquoise color it's really really beautiful it just on me it's just not the one i feel like somebody else could pull this off so much better than me i'm not bringing myself down but it's just i don't feel like when i have a visible belly outline it looks good you know on me other people can really pull it off they probably have better shape value than me that's what it is um <laughs> But for me, it's just, it, unfortunately, it is a no. So, um, so yeah, so those are all of my items. As you can see, like, I bought my wish list and it wasn't, like, what I expected it to be. Maybe it's me. Who knows? The, the clothes just didn't look right on me. So, um, yeah, I maybe have to I order a size up in some things, order a size down in some things. Um, be a bit more confident with my body with some things, you know what I mean? You guys might have thought they look nice. A lot of the times when I say something doesn't look good, you guys are like, what are you talking about, Hannah? It actually looks so good on you. And I'm like, thank you, but I don't think it does. Um, so that is all that I got from ASUS. I will leave everything linked in the description below for you so that you can actually go and check that out yourself. Um, if there's any questions about any of the items of clothing or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Leave me a comment um, and like this video, video so that it can go out in the big wide YouTube world for people who are searching for ASUS Plus size videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys